YouTube, but I'm about to unbox the Commander deck for um, After the Gathering um, Arm for Battle. So this is my Commander right here, and um, this is the back of it. I've been actually pretty bad at, um, I guess I would say, um, not tearing open the boxes because I've actually got a few of them. And I've gotten pretty hooked on playing this game. Well, not playing, but just like looking at the cards and stuff. So, actually first I gotta get my, um, I gotta get my card plastics. So it, it might not actually be um, enough here, but I got enough of these ones for it. Which hopefully should be enough. Because it should hold about, um... What, let's just look in the pack. Should hold... 150. And the deck, I would say, is 100. So if it did out... Like, um... Outrank it... Then, uh, I guess that's okay. Because, um... More cards, the better. In this case. But, um... Yeah, I turned off the sound because it was actually kind of distracting me a little bit. So... Let's see. Let's open up this commander deck and then hopefully it's not um I hope nothing gets destroyed because yeah just in case. So even now after I opened up so many of them. Well, not so many, so opened up three of them. I'm still trying to not destroy the package of it, even though I threw out the other packages, because I can look them up online. But... Eesh, I'm so excited. And the only reason why... Oh, I'm sorry if I'm wearing, like, a, a short t-shirt, or, like, a, a tank top. It's just... <laughs> It's really hot in my apartment, so I don't want to sweat on my cards. Cause, um, yeah. At least not before the plastics, anyways. So let's go. I guess like I'm not strong enough because I got these cool like workout bands and still <laughs> I guess I can't even pull a magic gathering thing out of its box. Might be a snake. Oh, crap! I'm crushing the box it comes with. Oh it was the oh I'm so dumb. So yeah, when you're pulling it out, remember that this comes a little bit um protruded. So if you're trying to yank it out, it'll just get caught here. So what you need to do, which I'm learning which I should have known from before, is pop it and then pull it. And there we go. There we go. Uh, okay, Wicked. So, this comes with the box, which I now know that if you do have the box, you can hold all the cards in there. It's just that, um, like with plastics, it's just that you have to take out all the token cards for like Commander. And uh, my buddy, uh, Linden, told me about that because I was just carrying mine in stacks, but you don't really need to have the token cards in your deck because um, uh, you just summon them willingly. And they have like these double-sided things. So, comes to the counter. I really assemble already assembled the box. Comes with how to play and a placement, and then, <laughs> most importantly, comes with the cards. Ooh, and this is what always scares me. The commander comes out first, and there's a little, that's the thing. It comes out first, and because it's a little bit protruded, it comes out um, a little bit bent. But that's okay, because the commander doesn't really even stay in your deck anyways. So, when he pops out, just pull up him right in here. And he is Wyleth, Soul of Steel. It's actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and then the other ones, they come actually, like, uh, wrapped up here in the actual, like, deck thing. And then, yeah, so you actually have, like, you can even see it's a bit, like, different. If you can see, 
like a line here, like right here. Wait, here, try this side. If you can see the line there, that top part of their token. So if you put these in packages without um, those um, tokens, it actually works. So, yeah, let me add, this is what I really like too. One sec. I know good things come in threes, but I had to get an even amount. Um, so, each one comes with um, a life counter. So I got these four, which are pretty cool. So I want to do like a series where I find out about the game, because I'm not really good at playing yet. And um, I don't really know a lot about it. But I want to try learning like the history, not the history of like, how it's played, but the history of like the characters inside of it. So what I've been doing are just like, I guess, collecting cards. So I have four decks now. Um, two of them are in plastics. One of them is actually in the box, this one. And then, yeah, I just kind of, um, yeah, uh, put them into plastics and just look at all the amazing graphics and what the cards have to offer because yeah, without even playing well, without even knowing more than just um, the Commander game, kind of hooked on this. It's actually pretty amazing. And I love the storyline, and I'm actually thinking about um, making like a series of just going through the cards and then trying to put them in context of the storyline, but I think I need to learn a bit more about it. So, yeah, it comes with a hundred cards. And the first okay so it's kind of cool then because i guess it's kind of like um Yu-Gi-Oh and like other card games where certain cards will be repeated so i have seen this card before because usually when i like usually when i play this game but after having just like learned how to play this game or um buying cards all the cards usually seem new to me but i've seen this card like the condemned card before so that like goes to show that um not every single card is new. It's kind of like um, one of those things where a lot of cards are used in many different purposes. But yeah, there's so, like, whoa. There's Danitha, Capuchin, Paragon. I actually do really like um, the flavor text because, yeah, look, that, there she is. And then she's just like, I will protect the less fortunate. I will love bravely. I will face despair and fight on as a cat passion. I can do no less. So this is kind of why I want to build like uh, this narrative with these characters who may not actually be um, incorporated into like those main storylines. Because all of them seem really cool. Like I know um, land cards can be repeated because they're land cards, but like there's so many cool things like Brass Squire. Like I just opened like anywhere and it says Brass Squire, Artifact Creature. And this is him. And then it's just like, um, I admit it, few pull off pluck and um, su subservience at the same time. And then it goes, Izuri, renegade leader. So I guess he was just quoting somebody. But actually, this is his, um, like, yeah, I'm still getting used to the game, but yeah, this is an artifact creature. So he has, like, um, or she has, um, more um, things to offer than just uh, its basic stats. But yeah, this is exactly why I needed to kind of uh, open it like this because I'm still getting lost in just the cards themselves. So, yeah, and they're so cool because even when you have one card, they still can even have the double card on one card. So yeah, I'm still learning. And then this is the last box that I had, this one. To unbox so hopefully by the end of tonight I put them all into um card plastics and then then into their um associated uh boxes and then I can start trying to play goldfish and just like getting to know the cards and stuff like that so yeah I guess that was the unboxing and I won't put you guys through the whole um putting them into plastics because that's the boring part but yeah Hope to log in soon again and show you guys, um, well, I guess learn how the game works more and uh, get through the cards. Good luck.
this is the guinea.